Fascinating to watch from a safe distance, but does apocalypse now on Jupiter have any meaning for us here on Earth? For those who believe science doesn't always hold all the answers, there's warning enough in the famous prophecies of Nostradamus. But first, we go to astronomer Stephen Williams at the Grove Creek Observatory in New South Wales. Steve Williams, thanks for joining us. Uh, Steve, I think it's fair to say that scientists are often seen as a stuffy, staid bunch, but the last couple of days you've been acting like kids in a lolly shop. Why are you so excited? Well, we've got all these lovely lollies to eat, I think. Uh, it's uh, fantastic what's happened. It really is terrific. Uh, we've had some really good data come through. Um, the smaller fragment hit the first one, and uh, we didn't expect to see anything from the first fragment. Uh, but, uh, of course, that caused a, an enormous... Uh, a puddle in Jupiter's atmosphere and it's very exciting. So it's uh, as big as you expected it to be, Steve? Much bigger, much bigger. I, although I think a few of us were, were playing this down anyway, um, we, are, we are getting a lot more results than we, th we thought we ever would. It's just terrific. So what, what can we actually learn here, Steve? I mean, are we going to learn more about the secrets of the solar system? Well, the interesting thing is that um, one of the things we didn't realise was going to occur was that the aftermath of the explosion, the mark on Jupiter's atmosphere, has actually uh, continued uh, to remain. Now, if you were to throw a rock into a fast-flowing river, uh, you wouldn't see puddle marks. It, it would uh, disappear immediately, the remnant of that rock hitting. Uh, but what we've actually seen is, is like a ripple coming out of, the, of Jupiter's atmosphere. So it uh, tells us a lot about um, the atmosphere of Jupiter can be very easily affected by small things hitting it. And Steve, what are the chances of a comet of the same size hitting Earth? Well, the chances are very small. Um, I can't say there's no chance at all. We've had a few uh, close calls. What sort of impact would that have? Uh, it would destroy the Earth completely, unfortunately. Um, no so doubt, about, no doubt about it. Uh, no doubt about that, no. Um, in fact, it uh, probably confirms the theories of the dinosaurs' extinction on, on planet Earth that, in fact, a comet had it hit Earth and blew up a whole lot of seawater and dust into the atmosphere, blocking the sun off for many years. And this is a theory that has been uh, thought about for quite some time. And uh, I think by looking at Jupiter and what's happening with Jupiter, it, um, it, it does confirm that. So can you give us some idea of the uh, amount of energy that's, that's being released here? Uh, well, the first fragment's equivalent to about uh, 500 times the power of the Hiroshima bomb. Um, the actual mark that's left uh, on Jupiter's surface is about half the size of the Earth. You could fit 19 Earths across the face of Jupiter, and uh, if you were to look at that scale, this mark is about the size of a half Earth. And Steve, you, I know you're sending pictures to NASA and they're sending pictures back to us via the Hubble Space Telescope. Mm. Are they pleased with uh, what they're getting from you? We're uh, very, very pleased here. Um, the Grove Creek Observatory has had a reputation for quite some time of very clear skies, and I suppose this really does prove it. All right, Steve, that's great. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Neil. Well, if the scientists are over the moon, there are some who clearly don't share their delight about the cosmic ordeal of a sister planet. They quote the most famous mystic of them all, Nostradamus, in predicting the Jupiter explosions more than 400 years ago. And if Nostradamus got it right then we're in big trouble starting right now. Tracy Bowden talks to an American expert on the Nostradamus prophecies, but we'll also let the local sceptics have their say as well. Nostradamus, the 16th century doctor who saw into the future. Believers say he's predicted everything from the Great Fire of London to the French Revolution from Hitler to the Kennedy assassination, and more recently, the Gulf War. And now, this week's spectacular collision in space. And he describes it as a great bearded star trailing sparks. And anyone who has seen the pictures just recently of uh, Shoemaker Levy can see that it looks like a bunch of coals uh, glowing, like a huge trail of sparks through space. John Hogue is a world authority on Nostradamus. He believes the events on Jupiter were forecast by the prophet way back in the 1500s. And this very well may be the time to begin counting the apocalyptic sequence of events in Nostradamus' prophecies of wars, famines, diseases, breakdowns of governments and societies, which ultimately may lead to a third world war or 
if we move through this with enough consciousness as a human race, it'll lead to a millennium of peace. So what will happen to the relationship between Russia and the United States? There is a warning that it would be sorely tested by some event in the Middle East that may have a episode of nuclear terrorism involved. One of them is the spring of 1996. The second event would be in July of 1999. All this intergalactic activity may be fascinating for astronomers and astrologers, but there's another group that's less enthusiastic, the skeptics. They say the predictions of Nostradamus are always unraveled with the benefit of hindsight and that a comet smashing into Jupiter is no way to forecast our future. I get saddened for the state of humanity that we feel that we need to believe in this, all this sort of nonsense. I mean, what's wrong with facing the world as it is? Barry Williams, president of the Australian Skeptics Society, says predicting is easy in retrospect. Oh, I mean, any major event that happens, you go into Nostradamus, you'll find something uh, that you can squeeze and force to fit. And uh, I could do the same thing with Shakespeare. In fact, I hold that Shakespeare was a much better predictor of the future, and I'll just give you a couple of examples. The bit out of Hamlet, oh, that this too, too solid flesh should melt. Now, that quite clearly was a prediction about the cream that you rub on your thighs that melts the fat away that's been in the press in the last week or so. And how about um, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. That clearly refers to all the Italians and their friends around the world who are following the World Cup. Well, it means that um, I'm energized. It happens to affect my Jupiter, but it, uh, it will affect the whole planet. Local psychic Simon Turnbull is convinced. Events on Jupiter can tell us a lot about what lies ahead for Australia towards the turn of the century. It's a very uh, bountiful period. And so, especially over this next six-month period, there's more employment, more money is going to be coming into the country, especially after this trigger period. Um, Jupiter is now in the health area of the chart for Australia, which means that Australia is likely to come up with some kind of new... Uh, research, some breakthrough to do with the AIDS situation, which may then be shared with the world. Psychics will tell you the economy is going to improve. Well, that's been in the press every day for the last six months. So what? It's not, it's not startling. It's not staggering information at all. It's perfectly normal stuff that you and I read the papers, watch television. We could predict the future much better than most psychics, and we don't have to go to psychic school. The skeptics would argue that uh, if you read the papers, you could make a lot of those predictions. Well, that's true, uh, but if you were not able to read the papers of the 1990s and you made them in 1554, I don't think that uh, argument has much water in the case of Nostradamus. Do you have any predictions for the time from now till the end of the century? Uh, yeah. The economy will get better and then it'll get worse again somewhere along the line. Various politicians will make promises that they won't keep. Uh, there will be elections in various parts of the world, and there'll be some surprises, and there'll be some non-surprises, all the trivial sort of stuff that anybody can predict, I'll predict. Definitely. I definitely predict a good time for one and all. Tracy Bowden on the psychic fallout from Jupiter, and I guess when you're dealing with the mysteries of the universe, it pays to keep an open mind. Now, just to remind you, I'm Neil Mercer, Stan.